Hi, I'm Zach from Hale Pet Door. Today I'm going to show you how to clean your flaps. That way you don't have to pay a professional to come out and clean them for you or replace them. So the easiest thing to do will start off by assessing the pet door, make sure it's in good working shape, and see all the dirt, debris, and grime that's accumulated on here inside the frame. So the first step is going to be let's vacuum it out and start cleaning it up. All right, now that the inside is all cleaned up, we can go ahead and start cleaning our flaps. Hale Pet Door recommends using Simple Green to clean the flaps. This is manufacturer recommended. If you don't have this, they also recommend as an alternative to use Dawn dish soap. Warm soapy Dawn dish soap works really well as well to clean the flaps. Never use any Windex, ammonia, or alcohol-based products on the flaps. It will dry them out and force them to uh, crack. So the first thing we want to do is just give it a good, generous spraying of the Simple Green. I like to kind of let it sit on here a little bit. If you hold it up, it'll sit flat. If you lay it down, it tends to run. So make sure you have a drop cloth or something down that won't absorb that Simple Green into the carpet. Take a good uh, paper towel and then just start at the top and work your way down. You want to be careful not to pull on the pet door flap because that way it can pull the frame apart if you're not careful or if there's already a tear up at the top. But you just start and work your way down. And you can see it's pulling out all that dirt and grime on there. We do both the inside, the outside. I like to do the sides. Sometimes you really got to scrub it on these older doors. And you go through a few paper towels getting these cleaned up. So sometimes you might need to apply more than one coat of the Simple Green to really get some of that caked on dirt off. Um, I like to sometimes take my gloves, rub it around, kind of if they're grippy, uh, you know, use that to, to get it off. Don't use anything abrasive more than the paper towel. So no Brillo pads, anything like that. Um, it just takes a lot of elbow grease to really get these cleaned up. And there's our happy customer right there. Okay, now that the inside is all clean, we'll head outside and do that. But before we get to that, you can kind of see there's that little hazy film on there. That's what you want. That's what the simple green leaves on there. That's a protected coat on that flap that does help repel some of that dirt and oil and other things that the dog tracks on there. Those nose prints, of course, too. Um, so that little haze on there, that's perfect. So that's all it took was about five minutes of in a little bit of elbow grease and simple green and the flaps look brand new.